Hello everyone, my name is Isabella Sisilawati. I'm an excellent Bobby enthusiast with decades of business experience. In this video, I'd like to show you the difference between Page Navigator button and Bookmark Navigator button. In many ways, they are very similar as they are buttons that can help us to navigate across various pages within Power BI report. Let me show you. This is a report that has been published in Power BI Surface with Page Navigator buttons and Bookmark Navigator buttons already preset. This report has nine pages. Each page is associated with a shape, a heart, a hexagon, an arrow, a house, etc. When you click the page navigator buttons, it will bring us to different pages with different shape. Similarly, if we click the bookmark navigator, it also brings us to different pages. As you can see, both sets of buttons are very similar. However, they are not exactly the same. What's the difference? When should we use page navigator and when should we use bookmark navigator? To understand the difference between Page Navigator and Bookmark Navigator, let's go to Power BI Desktop and let's rebuild the buttons together. We are now in Power BI Desktop. We have all the various pages that we saw earlier in Power BI Surface. Let's create the Page Navigator. Go to Insert, Buttons, Navigator, Page Navigator, and voila, all done. Isn't that super quick and easy? Now let's test it. Press Ctrl click and it's bringing us to the triangle page. Now let's go back to the purpose page and let's test it again. Let's Ctrl click house and it should bring us to a page with a house shape. So as you can see, creating page navigator is really, really super easy. And if you want to copy this, across many pages, all the other pages. All you need to do is press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. As you can see, it is so, so simple. I'm just pressing Ctrl V. And we're done. Now let's test it again. If I click purpose, it should go back to the front. Now let's create the bookmark navigator button. To do that, go to insert button navigator and bookmark navigator. Click that. Oops, what happened? Nothing happened. It's blank. Well, it's blank because maybe we haven't created any bookmark. How do we know what bookmark do we have? First, you need to go to the bookmark pane, go to view bookmarks. And as you can see in here, bookmark pane appear and I don't see anything. It means that there is no bookmark in this report, which is why when we create the bookmark navigator earlier, nothing show up. So what we need to do first is to add a bookmark for each page. For example, I'm going to add a bookmark for a triangle. And then I'm going to create a bookmark for heart. Now that I have created the two bookmark over here, I'm going to try again to go to insert and insert a button and insert bookmark navigator. Now, as you can see, I have two buttons, one for triangle and one for heart. Now, if I add a new one, say for purpose, let's create a new button. Do you notice, as I type in purpose, a new bookmark is automatically created. And also notice this, as I move purpose to the top, purpose get moved to the left. So a bookmark navigator is linked to our bookmarks, whereas page navigator is linked to the pages that we have in the Power BI report. So if I need to create a new page, for example, I'm just going to hit plus and type new. Let's go back to purpose. Voila, can you see? A new 
button is automatically created. However, in the Bookmark Navigator, there is no new buttons because as I said earlier, Bookmark Navigator is linked to Bookmarks and Page Navigator is linked to the pages. Now, what happens if we delete a page? I'm going to delete the new page and watch this. Delete. Voila! The page navigator is automatically updated. Whereas if I delete a page, say triangle, let's delete that. I'm going to hit delete. It's going to be permanently deleted, no problem. Watch that, the triangle is gone from page navigator, but look at the bookmark navigator. The triangle is still there. Let's see what happened when we click triangle. Nothing happened. You see, page navigator is automatically updated as we delete or add a page, whereas bookmark navigator is not. It's only after we delete the bookmark, then bookmark navigator will be updated. So in a way, Page Navigator is easier to maintain if you want buttons that give you the ability to navigate across all pages. Because as you create new pages, new buttons get created. As you delete some of your pages, the button automatically get updated. Whereas with Bookmark Navigator, well, it's not really linked to pages, it's linked to Bookmark. Now, what if there are some pages that you want to exclude from Page Navigator buttons? How? Let's say we only want Page Navigator for the pages with blue dots. How can we do that? Is there a way to customize the Page Navigator? Unfortunately, the answer is no. This is the shortcoming of Page Navigator. We need to use Bookmark Navigator instead. Let's use the Bookmark Navigator to create a set of bookmarks just for the blue dots. First, we need to add bookmarks for each tab. So let's click House and then Add House Bookmark. Click Square and Add Square Bookmark. Click Pill and Add Pill Bookmark. And then click Offer and add one more bookmark. All right, that's four bookmark has been set up. Now, if you want the blue dots, very simple. Just copy the dots, highlight, Control C, and then paste it, Control V. And then go to Pill, double click the bookmark name, and then Press Ctrl V and then just do it for every single bookmark. And voila, we have our blue dots. Now that we have four bookmarks with the blue dots created, click and select everything and then right click, group them. And then name them blue so that it's easy to remember and easy to identify that these bookmarks are for the blue dots. Now, once that's done, what we're going to do is go to Button, Navigator, Insert Bookmark Navigator. And as you can see, we have a set of bookmarks created, but, but it's got heart and purpose. We just want the blue. So what shall we do? Okay, so what we're going to do is format the button. So go to bookmark and then change the bookmark selection. At the moment, the default is all. Now select the blue, which is our bookmark group. When we do that, only the blue bookmarks get shown. And that's how we can use Bookmark Navigator to overcome the shortcoming of Page Navigator. Once we are happy with one, what we can do is we can press Ctrl C and we can paste it in other pages in here. For example, put it in here in the house page, in square, just press Ctrl V and then in pill. And then now we can test it. Remember Ctrl click. Click pill, 
and it's going to pale now. The benefits of Page Navigator is the fact that it is super quick and super easy to create, and that it will be automatically updated when pages are added or deleted. However, it is not a perfect solution as it lacks the option to exclude certain pages from the navigator. This is when Bookmark Navigator can come in handy. It takes a little bit longer to set up as you need to first set up various bookmarks. You will also need to manually add or remove bookmarks when new pages are added or deleted. So in summary, if you want your navigator button to show all pages from your Power BI report, then use the page navigator. But if you only want buttons for selected pages, then use the bookmark navigator. I hope you find the video useful. And if you do, please do subscribe and see you next time.